hello. This is Sharif for Just Nailed It. I don't know which way to go with the man anymore. This is, what is today? Today is Thursday. And I am going to be applying some hard gels on my paws. I've got three of the five done so far. These three. Was talked through the first one. Did these two on my own. These two have up to base coat done. So what you do is push your cuticles back. Scrape the dead skin away. Dehydrate your nails three times. If you don't have a dehydrator, use a mixture of equal parts of alcohol and... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm drawing a total blank. Acetone. Thank you. Acetone. Equal parts. That is your dehydrator. Next, I use this primer. Prime your nails twice. Prime your nails twice, then apply, uh, apply a base coat and cure. 30 seconds. That's where we're at right now on those two nails. We're going to be using a Yogi Builder Gel and Clear. Gives you a gel brush. This just wouldn't stay back. Gives you a little pea-sized bead. And here we go. Oops. And we are going to pillow it. Down on the nail, side to side. This little pea-sized bead looks a little bit too big for my pinky nail. I'm trying to wipe some off on the jar. Do not wipe. I was told to pillow it. And we're going to leave it at that. We are going to do the ring finger next. Whoops. This might be a big pea. Holy cow. See if I can wipe some off. And we're going to go back in here in the ring finger. Make sure you go side to side to get your sidewalls, or not your sidewalls, you know what I mean. Totally, total side of your nails done. They may look a little lumpy. And that's alright. Because they're supposed to, I hear. Well, not lumpy, but you know what I mean. Um, this will self-level when you hold your hand upside down for... Hmm, it's a crapshoot of time, I guess. Because when I did the others, it was just a crapshoot. You just wait and look and look and wait. So, on that note, I am going to pause. We are back. They have self-leveled, I guess you would call it, the pinky and the ring finger. Now, to cure these, it takes 60 seconds, I was told, and um, when I did my thumb, the very first nail I did, I experienced a heat spike, and that hurt like the dickens. So I'm not... When I, and then when I went to do the ring and the index finger, I experienced the same thing. These two I was able to get out of the lamp before it started to hurt. The thumbnail, all oh, that hurt. That one hurt. So, so I don't have that happen again. I'm going to put it on the 90 second low heat setting on my lamp. I have the Bell Home Lamp, the groovy one with all the pretty flowers and groovy detail on it. So that's the lamp I'm using. And, um... So I'm putting on there for 90, and I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Um, that was a little bit of a job there. I had my hand on the 90 second low heat setting because I had experienced a heat spike with the thumb. Did not with these two. Did with 
the pinky finger. As soon as I hit five seconds in, it started to heat spike and it hurt. So I hurried and pulled my hand out. Wait for a few seconds, stick my hand back in, five seconds in, it does the same thing. So I start to panic. What do I do? What do I do? It's in the wee hours of the morning and I don't know what to do. I do not have experience with builder gel. So the next best thing, Instagram. I go to my girls in the Glitter Girl group collaboration and I ask them what to do. Had two ladies step right up and um, tell me, cure in small increments. So that is what I did. Did a little flash cure like that, then was able to stick my hands back in and finish curing. So I'm pleased to say those two are cured of the builder gel. Now, we, I did use the uh, alcohol prep pad, take the sticky layer off. Next, you apply a top coat. Unless you're putting color on, which I am not. So I'm applying some top coat. Uh, one thing you might want to do too, and I did not do this, is get your little buffer. Your little buffing block out there and buff your nails up just to smooth out any rough surfaces you might have. Now I'm going to stick this in for 60. And pray for no heat spikes. So yeah, get your little block out, buff your nails up just to make sure that you have all smooth nails, no lumps, no bumps. Um... Yeah, make sure your nail is smooth, get your brush, get your alcohol prep pad, rewipe your nail, apply your top coat, or your color, whichever you're going to do first. Me, I'm going with the um, top coat, no color. I want to be able to see my nails with the Builder Gel on them for a while, then if I choose to put, say, a regular polish over, I can do so, and then a regular glossy top coat, I can do that too. But I'm not going to be putting gels on at this point over the top coat. Just clear. So no heat spikes. They are out. We are cured. We are all good to go. So here we are. My first set of hard gels. They are on. I think they look beautiful. I really like the way that they look. I kind of wish I had of, now that I look closely here, had I taken the buffer. I don't know if at this point that I can do it or if that would mess it up, so I'm not going to right now. Food for thought for next time and for experience for down the road, I guess. So this is the conclusion. Me and Builder Joe, our first application. Be kind to me in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Please click that bell. That way you're notified of all future videos. I upload three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Saturday is my She Modern Series Saturday. She Modern Saturday Series. I'm sorry, a little tongue twister there for me. Um, I greatly, greatly enjoy my Saturdays. And I hope you do too. Let me comment down below. Let me know what you think and have a blessed day.